if you want to be an entrepreneur or business owner or own real estate, you have to find those people that have done it. The entrepreneurial class or this program or wherever you're at, at uh, sure. in Iowa is t talk to about that because that's shows how much I know. I, I didn't even know those really existed. Now I'm sure you can talk a little bit about that. Sure. Uh, I graduated from Iowa in 2010 uh, with a political science major, but halfway through my college career, I found out in the business school they had this entrepreneurship program. Um, you know, quite frankly, college and school in general just didn't really hit ho home with me. Um, it, it wasn't a focus. It wasn't something that I was super interested in. You were um, also in Iowa City, which it's hard to focus there. It for sure is, <laughs> right. So it's like, it's a great town. I'd yeah. highly recommend, uh, you know, that school and that town in general. It's but, great. Um, you know, so I found out about this entrepreneurship program. I signed up for the first class. You know, the, the teachers aren't real professors, they're business people. So I, all my professors in this program, they were business people. They showed up in a Porsche or in a pickup truck or they owned a company and sold it. And now they're just doing this part time or whatever. Those are the guys I started resonating with. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's awesome. You know, I'm like, shit, this is, this is who I need to be with. Like yep. I need to hang out with this guy. And this one particular guy I still talk to from, you know, 12 years ago, um, you know, one day I'd go talk to him after class and I'd have a full afternoon of classes afterwards, right? It was noon and he's like, hey, do you wanna go grab some lunch and some beers at this one restaurant bar in Iowa City at, at, at lunchtime? Perfect. I had three or four classes afterwards. I was like, yep, <laughs> let's go, like, let's do it. When the you door know? opens, right? The door was open, so I'm like, all right, I'll skip the rest, the afternoon is clear. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm ready, I'm open. Um, and I've been talking to the guy ever since, you know, so it's like, you know, next on the list now is like going back to talk to his classes. I've been invited back there to, to go to the, the business school there to talk. And, um, you know, that's coming up this, this spring. Great. Um, you know, those are the, those are the people that, you know, in general, no matter how far along or not far along you are in your journey, if you want to be an entrepreneur or business owner, um, or own real estate, you have to find those people that have done it. Um, uh, then you just latch on, you know, not in like a, not like a weird, like annoying way, yeah. but like provide value. Yeah, yes. Sure. Provide value with no expectation in return. Cause like a lot of times you might provide value to some people, you know, you can't expect them to give you anything back. They're busy. Like everyone's busy. So it's like, that's the thing I've always kind of latched onto is providing value to, no matter who it is, mm -hmm. whether it's like to a sports team or to an office building, like even just giving someone sandwiches that I don't like, okay, I'll give you sandwiches. Yeah. You never have to order for me. That's fine. I mean, look, no one's going to complain about free pickle my sandwiches. Well, yeah, but that's, that's no one's going to complain about it. But if you never ordered for me again, I'd be totally cool with that. Right. No, so it's, it's like, you know, because we're all super busy. So you're right. If you're gonna take somebody's time, it's nice to know you're offering something, whether it's a sandwich or knowledge or speaking at a class. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah.